Kelly. I, Kelly. Take thee, Joseph. Take thee, Joseph. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. And now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. That's so beautiful. You just... Oh, I wish you could always be like this. That's right. Sticky, I'd smell you in a drawstring. No. You know what I mean. Just promise me something. Huh? If we're ever not this happy, we'll come back here and make it all better again. <sighs> as long as we can be sticky, hot, smelling in a drawstring. It's okay by me. <laughs> I could bend the helix. That might work. That might work. <laughs> so, uh, kind of foggy up there, huh? San Francisco? Oh, looks like the ice man is coming. I'm sorry? What do you got in the case? You clocking or what? I, I don't think so. Man. Pablo? Just keep forgetting the city's planning on tearing this building down, and Demo Works had the street closed off for a while. Now I gotta turn all the way around. I, uh, Sorry about this, dude. No, 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 that's fine. I think uh I think the hotel's right over here. I can I can just walk. You sure? Yeah. That's 2660 plus 
you know. Yeah. Um, 60, uh, right here. You want anything smaller? No, keep it. <laughs> hey, thanks, dude. You're welcome. Twist it. <laughs> Uh, Joseph Beacons? Oh, Joseph Beacons. Room 530, as you requested. Need anybody help you with your bag? No, no, I'm I'm fine. I have it. Thank you. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Bubba, how you doing? What else? What else? Look what? alive. I'm, I'm what doing? do you do? I'm moving. Pass away. I'm working. Dying. What's up with you and them gloves, Bubba? You afraid of dirt? is clear now. I trust, my dear, there will be no more excuses. It's not your word that I want. Meanwhile, the investigation is still underway for the identity of the charred remains of the man found where it is believed the fire started.
Honey, it's me. I came up with a whole new twist. A genetic factoring, it was... It doesn't, it doesn't matter, honey, I'm done. It's over, I'm finished. Honey, I'm at the... I'm at the Walder from in Venice. I'm in our room. Honey, everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be just fine. I... I really wish you were here. I miss you so much. I miss Matthew. I'll just... I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? I love you so much. It's gonna be okay. Stressed out when he checked in here. I mean, really stressed out. What was it? A heart attack of, of some kind? Well, uh, I believe somebody will uh, notify the family. I, I uh, sure hope so. Well, have a nice day. Just want to make sure this place is really vacant. Last place I worked at was haunted. Totally haunted. Okay. Uh, boss, uh, what happened to this guy's personal stuff? Why? You need a computer, man? Police went all through it. I took it, wrapped it up, and sent it back to Mr. Beacon's family. Now, come on, boys. Let's get with it. All right, I'll get out here. See? That don't make no sense to me, man. 
Yeah. Well, what's boss trying to do? Clean that out the room? Yeah, it looks like we're a little late for that. Now. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Ho, ho. What's up, man? You alright? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm alright. It's my little sugar. You got your stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't. I'll, I'll do it later. Come nah, on. no, forget later. No, no, forget later, man. Your big ass pass out. I'm the one that got to carry you out of here, man. Go do it now. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. Hey, yeah, but you know what? You might not want to inhale that too deeply. There's dead man's germs on that pillow. Okay. Dead man, you don't. Muerte. 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 <laughs> All right, man. told everybody this guy was a stress case. Look at this. Did they have to mention the hotel? That's all I need right now, is bad publicity. Mm. That's got a way of bringing people in. And we're there for Bundy Drive. People weird like that. Mm. Boss. Do you have a reservation for James, please? James? Yes. Yes, we do. Great. Uh, can you fill out this form? Sure can. We requested room 530. 530? Yeah. Uh, hello. Oh, I'm almost finished. Oh, that's okay. It's no hurry. I am. Well, go ahead, sweetie. It's okay. Excuse me, do you have an extra pillow? He's gonna need one. Si, si, yo tengo. Yo lo trae. Thank you. Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Have you worked here for a while? Si, yes. Do you remember the man that died here? I mean, did you ever meet him? No, I don't see nothing. No, no, I, I don't mean you. I mean, when you cleaned the room, maybe you found something? Like some small thing, anything? No, I, I don't take nothing. No, I don't mean that you took anything. I just... The, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Mom? Huh? What are they doing here? I don't know. Looking for closure, I guess. What's closure? I really couldn't tell you right now. How about a hug? I'd like to see so God bless the moon God bless the moon Daddy
I'm here, Joseph. I'm here. Daddy. Your dad and I used to love coming down here. We would swing on the swings and go as high as we could go and eat ice cream, ride the Ferris wheel. Just act like a couple of big kids. Because that's what he was, really. Just this big, beautiful kid, full of wonder. What's the matter, honey? I miss my dad. I know you do. I miss him, too. I miss him so much. What do you say I give you a big push? Yeah? Take off. It's only an hour flight. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Burgers or me leaving? <laughs> you can stay. Oh, okay. Every day you can get a burger in a French restaurant. You gotta have a little pull, you know? So really, how are you? I'm terrific. In yeah. my own confused, manic depressive sort of way. <laughs> and you think that being down here, being at the hotel, in the very same room where Joseph... Michael, I don't expect you to understand. Hey, don't give me that. If anybody's gonna... Look, I miss him too, you know? We're almost there, honey. Go! I guess I just need to deal with it. In my own way. My own time. I understand. Come here. Uh, you and Joseph were the most sentimental people I've ever known. Yeah. Sentimental fools, maybe. Yeah. It's just gonna take some time, Cal. There's an understatement. Good night, Uncle Mike. Night, Hoss. That's for you. Cheers. Let's throw you. <laughs> I still can't believe you came all the way down here. So, what are you two doing tomorrow? Why? What are you going to do? Fly back down for breakfast? No, I thought I'd spend the night down here. Excuse me? No, I mean, uh, not down here, here. I mean, uh, here, you know, in town. Actually, I mean, uh, here next door. <laughs> Someone's got to take care of you. Michael, I'm a big girl. 
I can take care of myself. Good night, Michael. Stop it. What? Dad always lets me jump on the bed. Well, Daddy's not here anymore. What? Mommy, what's wrong? something inside the room, so I went thought I'd check it out. Yeah? Everything yeah. sound okay now? Yeah. Yeah, everything sounds fine. Something wrong? No. No, everything's cool. Good. Well, then, good night. Yeah. All right. You're still here. Good night. Good night. All right, good night. Seniority? Yeah, that's why you upset? Spell it, huh? Spell it. Bubba, you better I, stop that I, shit, no, man. No, you're gonna be long gone, all right? You but, don't cut out that shit. I've been here long, you're man, you gonna be long right? gone, you don't cut out that peeping Tom shit. Peeping Tom? Why'd you get out of my business, man? Ain't nobody was peeping. I get mine. I got the peep on nobody. Huh? You get your... Oh, you uh-huh, uh-huh, you watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch your ass. Show you right. Watch your ass. You better. Pushing up on me, mother boy, you crazy. Hey, Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. Watch how I do this. Okay. Okay? Can you, can you shoot? Now you do it. Sweetheart, that's enough. Why don't you come in now? 
Is he all right? Hardly touched his pancakes this morning. I don't know. He hasn't been sleeping well. He keeps having these nightmares. I don't know. It's bothering me. Who do you think sent those letters to Joseph? I don't know. Then it's been bothering me, too. Because you and I both know nothing ever happened. It's just a ridiculous lie is what it is. Where is he? He's right over there. Where did he go? Yeah, it's really old. Really? 50 years old, I think. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's from Mexico. Hey, kid, put that down. Hey! No, get away! Wait a minute. Wait, hold on, hold on. Just put down the knife. Just put down the knife. I don't want you to cut yourself. Matt! Matt, what are you doing? Boss, I think you should give that to me now. Matt, get away! Matt! Give me the knife now. Matt, give me the knife now. Is that your boy? Yeah. Something's wrong with that kid. What's he tripping on? I don't know. He's all right. He's not tripping on anything. What are you thinking? There's little kids running around everywhere. Someone can get hurt. It can't be legal. No, everything here is legal. Everything here is legal. It's your kid that's crazy. Get a leash or something. Hey, that's enough. Look, man, I'm sorry about that, but he must have really wanted it, right? I'll tell you what, I'll buy it from you. We'll get the whole thing. How much? Well, make me an offer. Matthew, come here. Come here. Listen to me. Listen to me. I don't know what's going on with you, but no matter what it is, we will get through it. It's going to be OK. I love you. Mommy loves you. No, come on. We're going to go back to our room, and we're going to take a nap, and it's going to be fine. Come on. I go down and I reach down to help him out and he reaches up and boom, plop, I go in the water. And there we are, the two idiots flailing around, drowning, and get this, in three feet of water. So, <laughs> hey, Haas. Number three, twisted. What do you say? Hey, sleepyhead. Number three what, Matt? <laughs> He's just tired, he'll be fine. Just be careful. Just don't Come move. On. All right. Slow. You okay? He scared you. Here, let me see. Yeah, take him. Jesus. Front desk. Papa speaking. All right. How you doing? You okay? You okay? Good. What are you doing? He already called someone to do that. I know. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. Just stop. Put that down. Stop. Relax. He's okay. He'll be all right. I know. Good. You're right. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey. How you doing? 
Who's your mommy? Um, Jesus, kid, come on. Hey, that hurt. Hey, Cal, boys will be boys, but this is getting ridiculous. As I said, I'm really sorry. Please, the problem's in the back bathroom. The problem's in the bathroom? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll go check on the problem. Okay. Thank you. Who is this monster? Michael, you really have to leave. Kelly, don't turn this on me. This is not normal behavior here. I think that... Well, maybe you should talk to somebody about this. What do you mean? I mean, someone professional. You mean like a psychiatrist? He doesn't need a psychiatrist. He's just upset. He's had his whole world turned upside down. Yeah, he's upset. A little boy. And you drag him back down here, right to the place where his father... I don't have to answer to you. I don't have to explain myself to you about how to raise my child. All righty. Another day, another dollar. Circuits check. Switches flipped. You're all set, ready to rock and roll. Thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 no. That won't be necessary, uh, Mrs. Uh, what? James. James, yeah, boy. All right, uh, any more problems you folks, feel free to call me, okay? Okay. I'm right there for you. Listen, Mrs. James, okay. You know, you have your own reasons for being down here, and that's fine. But your son's going through some serious grief issues. I keep trying to make you understand. We just need some time alone. You ever really think about Joseph's death? What do you mean? I mean, the sudden heart attack, and yeah, we both know how much he pushed himself, but don't you think it's a little strange? I mean, first he gets an anonymous letter about you and I. And, um, well, despite the way I feel about you, nothing happened, right? Michael, I don't want to I mean, Joseph was my best this. friend. He knows that. So, Stop I don't... it. Is that what you want? You want to screw him? Yeah, I, th I thought about what you said last night. Maybe you're right. Maybe you two should spend some time alone. No, I just, I just wanted to call and say that um, if you, if you want, uh, I'll stay. No, I think it's better if you go. All right, then. Uh, I guess I'll see you when you get back to town. Yeah, I'll talk to you then. Okay. Look, I'm late for my flight. I gotta go. Yeah, take care of yourself. Who was that? That was your Uncle Mike. He's not my real uncle. Well, I know that. That's what you've been calling him since you were born. And anyway, he called to say goodbye. He's going home today. Now it's just me and you. Did you wash your face? Mm hmm. Uh-huh. We're gonna have a terrific day. We'll do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Are you ready? Now, before you start running your mouth, I right, come here. Let me show you something. Get the glasses, Ziki. What? 
I'm just looking. I'm looking in the thing. You're the thief. I'm not no thief, Maria. Bandito, stop, stop. bandito. You made me me. No, why you sick? Look, she's got so much stuff in here. No. Look, there's got to be no. something for you up in here. No. Ay dios mio, ay dios mio. Stop, ay dios mio, Maria. Now, why are you always yapping here? Look, stop. Oh my God, look at that. Look, you don't, <laughs> no. You don't have a watch. No. No. Look, no. She will not know. Why you? I was just joking. I wasn't going to take nothing. Knocking stuff down. What? He's here. Who's here? Who's here? Why didn't you lie to me? What are you talking about? Who's here? Where are you taking me? Michael? Michael, what are you doing here? Kel, I'm sorry. <coughs> I, I tried to leave. I just I just couldn't. I mean, I, I feel like I should be here with you. Like, I, I, I need to be here with you. Because I love you. I'm just worried. Is that what you want? Matt, I didn't know he was still here. You want to screw him? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I hit him. I can't believe I hit him. Maybe you're right. Maybe he is jealous. Then why the hell did you come back? Matthew! I told you why. Dr. Kessler? Hello, my name is Kelly Beacons. I'm a friend of Michael Novak's. He suggested that I give you a call while I was here in Venice. No. It's about my son, Matthew. Here comes a special power drink. Open wide. And... Any more? All filled up? Good. Watch out for the claw. You want to know something? Yes. It's a secret. Yeah, I do. I miss your dad, too. Actually, it happened at Wednesday. Yep. Ever since we were kids, your age, Haas, I was always getting us into trouble and bailing us out. <coughs> Bullies in high school, girls in college, final exams. And then we both started working at the same lab. Yes. And you know what? He started bailing me out. <laughs> yep. Seemed like every project I was working on was a bust. That was until your dad took it over. He had this amazing way of turning my failures into works of genius. Funny way of leaning in on each other, don't you think? Hmm? Yes. Then he married your mom. And then he had you, but I was his best man, yep. Stood right there next to him at his wedding. And I remember thinking the whole time, well, life has a funny way of turning around on you. Yep, Joseph, you gone and scooped me again. Sorry I got mad at you, Uncle Mike. <laughs> it's okay, Haas. I get mad too sometimes. Impatient. 
Just remember, I love your dad, too. Go to sleep. Tuck you in here. All right? And for good luck. Yes. Closure, among other things. Okay. Thank you. Closure, among other things. What up, Snoop, Snoopy, Snoop? Oh. Huh. It's James on the boob, too. What you doing, Kev? Fry? Want candy? I do this. Okay? Can you can you shoot? Now you do it. I can do it, Daddy. Can you do it? Hold on. Now watch closely. Yeah. Watch out. Watch what I'm doing. I fold it here. Uh -huh. And I fold it like this. Uh -huh. Can you do it? Yeah. That's all. It's no big deal, honey. She's a really nice woman, Haas. I think you're gonna like her. You know, she was in front of your dad's. Good morning, everyone. Gabrielle. Thanks for seeing us on such short notice. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, for Michael, anything. I want to offer you my condolences, Mrs. Beacons. Joseph was a brilliant man. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Matthew, do you think we could talk for a little bit? Hmm, why don't you take him into my office and get comfortable? Of course. Come on, sweetie. Let's go for a walk. I had given up on you. I was going to call you when I got to town, but uh, things got complicated. How? 
complicated. Oh, that's what I thought you could sort out. <laughs> I see. You need me. Yeah, I need you. <sighs> she's beautiful, Michael. Gabrielle, she's just a friend. Hey. And then, um, what does that make you? Matthew, how are you feeling? Thirsty. Me too. Mrs. Beacons, I hate to ask favors, but could you run down the block and get us a couple of, what, colas? Oh, okay, sure. Matthew, I'm just going to run out, and I'll be right back. I want you to stay here, okay? Just sit right down there. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sounds like you've been having some terrible nightmares. Pretty scary, huh? You want to talk about them? You do realize, don't you, Matthew, that nothing can really happen to you in a dream. Sometimes we just get so much bottled up inside of us that the only way it'll come out is within our subconscious, the deepest, darkest part of our minds, our dream center. You miss your father a lot, don't you? Yes. Do you think about him a lot? Yes, but not like in the dreams. He's different in the dreams. Just relax your mind, Matthew. Remember, nothing can happen to you. You're safe here. You're perfectly secure. Listen to the water. Let it wash over you. Relax. You're still safe, Matthew. You're in a happy place. A place with your father. Just figure it out. You have more money than you're ever gonna need. You just gotta But what about in the meantime? We lose the house, we lose the car, we lose everything. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Come on, man. You're getting so close, can't you feel it? But don't you realize what this means? Major patents, millions, and Nobel Prize for medicine. I, you gotta put that all out of your mind. I'm telling you, I'm completely stuck. I don't know how to finish it. All right, uh, all right. Uh, I got you started down this road. There must be something I can do. Let me help. You want to help? You know, um, lay off. It's, I can't work with you breathing down my neck and her breathing down my neck. Well, I'm on your side. We got you the grant, remember? You did. How many times do you want me to thank you for it? So what are you gonna do, just leave? Yeah, I gotta get out of here. I need to concentrate. Why are you going, Daddy? I mean, I gotta go away for a little while. Why? Why? Good question, Mom. You know this thing I'm working on out here that's taking so much of my time? I'm so close to being done. If I can just figure out the last part, it'll help a lot of really sick people. Is it medicine? Um, it's kind of like medicine. It's, it's just, you know what? It doesn't matter. What's important is when I come home, you and me are going to go on a trip, all right? We'll go anywhere you want to go. On a plane? Sure, plane, car, boat, whatever you want. What about a helicopter? 
helicopter. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, a helicopter. If that's what you want, that's what we'll do. Take care of your mom, all right? I love you. You're the man of the house now, so we want you. No, Daddy. Don't go. He's suffering through the later stages of separation trauma. And with a child's imagination, the mood swings can be very volatile. like to see him again as soon as possible. Actually, I was going to take him home tomorrow. Back to San Francisco. Tomorrow? Yes. I see. It's just... It's hard to establish trust in the early going. Michael, will you go get Matthew for me? I feel like we've taken up enough of Dr. Kessler's time. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just out of curiosity, uh, uh, did you find the closure you were looking for? I think so. Matthew's supposed to be at the reception area, right? Of course. Well, he's not there. Listen, you give me your room key, I'll go back to the hotel, look for him. 
You stay around here and look for him here, and if he's not there, I'll call the police, okay? Thanks. All right, go. Matthew! Whoa, whoa. Let me go! Hey, what's the matter? Hey, listen, listen, what's the matter? Are you okay? Huh? Where's your mother? Where's your mother? Huh? No. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Calm down. Calm down. Okay? Mom and Uncle Mike think I'm crazy. That's why they made me talk to the doctor lady. Oh, Dr. Kessler. Yeah, I know all about it. You know, uh, like this Michael guy. He's not really your uncle, is he? He's a friend of my mom's. But not a friend of yours. No, not exactly. That's a pretty nice airplane. Where you learn how to make those? My father. Your father? And he's an artist and a biochemist? That's pretty nice, Matthew. Yeah, he was. You've been in a real stir ever since your father died, huh? I wanted to help sick people. I wanted to take me on a helicopter. A real one. I killed them. He, he who? Close the door. Close the door. This won't take long. All right. Where is she? She's still looking for the boy, right? He knows, you know. It's all there in his dreams. The murder, his father, you. It can't prove anything. And nothing can be gained without the goddamn third disc. Shape up, Michael! She's got the disc. She came down here to find it, and she's got it. Why else is she leaving tomorrow? She went up to the roof last night. Please, don't embarrass me again, Michael. I introduced you to my friends, my contacts, because I told them they could trust you. I just need more time. Actually, you are out of time. What do you want to be? Wealthy man or dead man? Hmm? All right. Okay. Well, I think we're back on track now. Yeah, I think so. Detective Williams will be with you in a minute. Hey, thanks, Mel. Come on, Matthew. Sergeant. Hey, what's hey. How you doing? What's up, buddy? All right. How you doing? Good, man. Oh, show me some ID. ID? ID. I bet you $5 that mine is even uglier than yours. Huh? Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, Detective Lawrence Johnson. Government intelligence? Now, that's an oxymoron there, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just want you to feel it out, okay? okay? Just talk to this guy. Look, you got a photo? Oh, yeah. It's in the file. The ugly one on the left. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, I'll tell you what I do. I got to send some men over anyway because we're going to blow that building up on the corner. And uh, crowd control is going to be pretty tough, so I'll be in that area anyway. Great. Hey, no, no luck. <laughs> Did you call the police? Yeah, I called them. Took a description so they keep an eye out for him, but they can't issue a missing person until he's been missing for 24 hours standard policy, okay? Oh, God. Now, uh, what triggered this? And he was fine last night. But did he sleep well? Yes. Did you? Yes. Were you on the roof? What do you mean? Why do you ask me that? It's a simple question, Kel. Were you on the roof? Yes, I was on the roof. Why? Because. 
Because Joseph and I loved going up there. Because we loved to take a bottle of champagne and make love under the stars. Because, because I still love him. Any more questions? No. Come on. Where are we going? Over here. To an empty building? Yeah, the manager said that uh, kids like to play there, so I figured that, um, you know, it's a perfect hideout. Time to chit chat, Mr. Jazz. The woman, 5 30, is she still checking in? No, why? Uh, never mind. Uh, look, do me a favor, look after my little friend, will you? Yeah, you're the man. No, you're the manager. Look, um, I'm gonna be back, okay? I gotta go find your mom. Oh, that's nasty, Bubba. I got your back, though, boy. Hey, FBI. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. He just told me he was like trying to. Buy some, uh, just juice for the tie boys. He told me. Yeah. He, he gave me some juice on you. Juice on me? Yeah. What? You're fired. Oh, man. You joking? No. Matt! Okay. That's it. I'm not waiting 24 hours. Screw policy. I'm going to the police. I agree. Do you have a picture of him? They want to know what he looks like. Oh, my God. I don't know if I have one with me. I must have one. Here, let me. Michael, what the hell are you doing? I'm looking for closure. important right now is finding Matthew. No. The only thing that's important right now is me getting a straight answer from you. I know why you came back here. It wasn't for sentimental purposes, closure, emotional healing. Love on the roof? Did you find the third disc? What disc? Like these. Numero one. Numero two. Now, you know that without numero three, your husband's work on these is worthless, and that would be an incredible shame. Uh, 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 uh. Stalemate. You give. Michael, I have no desk. I don't believe you. I don't care. I don't, but I care. It's $20 million worth of care. Joseph showed me the offer. Oh, my God. Do you remember? Remember when I bought the house in the lake? See, unlike <laughs> Joseph, I sold my project. I didn't want to be buried in research forever. I wanted a life. I wanted to give. I wanted a family. It was all set up. You see, the Russian mafia paid me well. Of course, my name was Barry because they couldn't give credit to the man who created a virus that could wipe out half the world instantly. Oh, but good old <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> With his AIDS care serum. Well, <laughs> he was obsessed. He didn't care about you, Matt, the important things. And yet they honor him. They promise him millions and golden monuments. Do you think that's fair? Just, just, just give me the disc, Kelly. Everything will be all right. 
No. It'll never be all right again. And I have nothing for you. <laughs> something for you. What is that? This? Oh, this is my little pet project. Kilroy. See, it's an amazing little drug. <laughs> See, it destroys, strokes out the cardiovascular system. Death within minutes. Heart attack. And it's untraceable. Just ask Joseph. <laughs> You're insane, Michael. He loved you. He trusted you. You were his best man. And he was mine! What? What? Do you think... Do you think that I wanted to kill him? I loved him too, you know. But he shut me out. And now you... You know the way I felt about you, don't you? Don't you? Yes, my own. I know. And don't make me do this. These people I'm dealing with aren't fooling around. If you... If you just... Just give me the disc. We can put all this behind us. I can make you better again. I'll... I'll cut you in half, I swear. <laughs> Where is it? On the roof? He put it in a secret spot. Tell me. Okay. See, if you don't give me the disc, I will hunt down your boy and he will join Joseph too. With the woman. You sure? Thanks, Mary Ella. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, are you enjoying your stay? Wonderful. Has Mr. Uh, Novik checked back in yet? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Goodbye, Cal. Sorry. I forgot to knock. The door was open. seconds. Kilroy. Yes. A gift from Michael Novak. How did you know that? It's my job to know that, ma'am. Mrs. Beacons. I'm with the Bureau. I've been a fan of your husband's humanitarian efforts. I was assigned by the Bureau to protect him. I mean, I didn't do such a good job. Buddy, I 
thought I told you to stay put. That I'm in the hotel looking for Michael. One of them talks funny. Is that right? I'm in a basement of an empty building near the Waldorf. Yeah, uh, he needs to send a containment unit over as soon as possible. Three suspects possibly are... Be afraid.
I promise that I will make this quick and painless. It's all clear. Let her blow. Now. We, we, we gotta, we gotta play, right? Gage, yeah, we got you, buddy. Roll him out. Hey, gypsy woman, you take care of him.
nice as they tore that building down, huh? You can see everything. I feel like you can breathe better. It's weird, huh? No. Not at all. Excuse me. Do you mind? Too loud? Just a bit. Sorry. Y'all ready to go? Yeah. I see the moon, and the moon sees me. And the moon sees somebody I'd like to see. Honey, Daddy is so proud of you. I'm always going to be here for you. Okay? You did such a good job. I have to tell you something that's very important. I don't want you to forget it.
touch the 